Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming on to share with you how I made these pockets and these are um, embellishments for junk journals. Um, they're quite a grungy feel um, but I made these pockets out of um, tea bags. So you can see the style of the tea bags that I've used here. And all these will do is so this is the journal that I'm working on at the moment. I just thought they'd make really good just little embellishments you know you can stick them on the page um, if your journal isn't as small as mine because mine is quite small you could use them as just a feature in the part of the page as well now what these are they're a pocket there at the front and I've made just a little tag to go in there and they're also a pocket at the back so they're a double pocket and depending on the way that you sew it onto the page you could use that as a pocket or you could use it as you know a side spot let me show you what I mean so let's say for example you could have it as a top loading pocket or you could leave the side totally open so that it would be a side tuck spot you know you could put something bigger behind it so you can make a um, a nice feature out of this whichever you choose to do they are a bit fiddly to put back in because obviously the um the tea bag papers are quite thin i'll show you the other one and then we're going to make one of these on camera today so that one comes out like so and there's a little letter in the back so I'll just pop these at the top here and we'll crack on with making one so the first thing that you're going to need is some tea bags and I prefer to use these rectangular ones and all I do is once I finish with my cup of tea I just take the scissors and I cut it I let the tea bag go cold for an hour or so I cut it and I just empty out all of the tea into the bin and then I just lay it on the side to dry and most of the time it will have a really nice um, unique pattern to the whole thing because it's obviously got the tea and it's been brewing so that's really good so all I do is I take a tea bag like that and I've just cut the top off I haven't cut it very straight so I'm just going to tidy that up so that's going to be the main basis of the pocket I do just give it a shake out just to make sure you know there's no dried tea leaves left in there so then you're going to need a tag to form the main thing now these are pre-cut tags that I actually buy from a local craft store because I don't have a die that's like this so I'm going to trim this down because I don't want it hanging out so much so just check where you would like it to hang out to and just cut don't forget the, the tag isn't going to go to the bottom of the tea bag because there's like a little lip isn't there there you go you've got your little tag there now I need to tea stain this because um, I don't want it to be so stark white so I've just got a rag here on my desk so I put this rag down and then I spray some tea coffee stain on top of this rag so this is just a solution that I make up with really strong coffee and I just spray it on like that and then I dry it So by doing it this way, you're going to form some really nice patterns on the tag. Sorry, I'll just focus it in. So I think that really adds um, some effect. And with this little piece of scrap fabric, this was actually um, like a, from my laundry. Um, it's going to build up a really nice colour to the fabric. So I just keep that and when I'm done with it, I can reuse it. You know, in terms of layering it up in my journal. So I'm just going to distress the edges. Okay. So I'm going to add my photo to this now. I need to cut my photo down a little bit because it's too big and I don't have any of the smaller ones left. Now if you don't have a photo that you want to use, um, you can use any image, you know, whatever theme of journal you're making, you can customise this to suit your journal. But if you wanted to use some photos, I have some vintage photos 
from the 1940s, 50s and 60s on my Etsy store and you'll find the link to that in the description down below. So that's going to go on there and I'm just going to attach it with a paper clip. I'm not going to put any, I do usually like to put, you know, embellishments at the top of my paper clip, but I'm not going to on this one because I'm going to, oh, I've scratched it a little bit there. That's the problem with having the actual replicas rather than the originals, you run the risk of scratching it. Um, I'm not going to put an embellishment on the paper clip because I'm obviously going to put some ribbon on the tag. So I've got this ribbon here that my friend Sue sent to me more like a lacy trim just because that's flopping over there I'm just going to trim it now I never get rid of any of my scraps I have these little tubs next to me and it just contains all the little scraps and then when I'm doing any collaging you've always got little scraps there to hand just going to fry those top pieces as well. Okay. So we'll pop that in there. You can do any, you know, any shape of tag that you want. It just needs to fit inside of the tea bag. Now we're going to do like some cluster embellishments across the top here. So Again, next to me, I keep little, these are just recycled um, fruit punnets. So I'll just keep those on the desk next to me and then I can just rummage through and take any out. Now what I've done on both of these is I've included like little tags. I think I've got another one in here. You know, like old price tags. So I've got quite a big one here, so I might use that. Although it's got this writing on, I think I'll probably be able to cover it with a collage. So I'll just distress that. Okay, so that can go there. And then I'll do like some clusters over the top. So let's have a look what we've got. We've got some of this. So I could cover the whole thing in that, which I might do. going to cover all of that your scraps are great for all of these little things you know I don't keep all of my scraps um, I do recycle you know the strips that you cut off paper what I do is I keep a box this is going to go in the recycling and then I just stuff it with all of the stuff that I'm not going to use um, and I just keep that next to me on the on the desk so I can just shove everything in there and put it in the recycling when it gets too full. Okay, so I've got some... See those, I'll just shove them in the recycling. Now I do like a longer piece, but I want it to be a bit more jagged, you know, that's a bit square. So I'll continue looking through what I've got. Maybe I could use something like this. I'll just distress these edges because they are a bit pale. Now I'm just going to dip into my little bits of fabric that I've got to the side as well. Maybe I'll put a little bit of neck curtain underneath because that'll add some nice texture. Because the good thing is with collaging, what you want to do is you want to add texture as well as a variety of different papers and things. So it, I guess it is all about the texture that you add. So that'll go there like that. Right, it still needs a little bit more, I think. So yeah, I was tempted to put this down, but then it would be lines, and there's lines there, so that doesn't quite go. So maybe I'll use some book pages that I've got. These are small strips, but I like that, liquid, non-poisonous. <laughs> so just rip that off. Let's 
what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to sew that whole piece so I'm just going to take it to the sewing machine and I'm just going to sew back and forth just to help it all stick together so I'll pause the video and I'll come back So all I did is I just went back back and forth a couple of times so I'll make a nice embellishment there. Now I'm going to add one of these crochet circles that again my um, lovely viewer Sue sent to me. So I'll stick that on the top I think. Again, you can use any embellishment. This is just to try and give you some ideas of things that you can add. And I want to also add like a little bit of um, a tag to the top of that tag there. So let's have a look. I keep another bucket. <laughs> As you can imagine, my desk is just full of all these little tubs of doodads i might actually use this like little jute thread that'll go quite nicely it's just a way of containing everything and you can have like a little container for each little thing so i'm also going to add onto there just some lovely little uh, embellishments that sue sent to me so let's have a look. I think I'll add a darker one because it will match the darkness in the photos then. So thread that through there. And I'll just tie that in a, a normal knot. So what I'm going to do now is just stick that down. I'm not going to use glue because the last time I used glue because this is very um, porous. It just went through and stuck to the tag. So I'm going to use a little bit of double sided tape I think. So just bear with me. I couldn't find my double sided tape so I'm just going to use one of these glue dots. They are repositional as well. So you just transfer one onto the back. So you could um, complete the whole thing there and just leave everything as completed. It would still look really nice in your journal. So that's still going to look really really nice there I'm not sure if that glue dot is coming through let me just try again I think so but with a, a tug it should be okay nah. so yeah you could just leave it there if you feel that that's completed enough but what I wanted to do is add some another layer of backing to create another pocket so all I've been using is parchment pa paper from the bacon aisle and I've got some pieces of scraps here so just check your sizing that one's about the right size and then you could either cut it here to frame the whole thing but I've been cutting it just a little bit further down And I'm just going to check that it still fits on my page because my pages are quite small. Yeah, so that still fits. And then because this baking paper is a bit stark at the moment, I'm just going to try and distress it a little bit. I have been using a bit of tea stain to distress it, so I might do that. You just mainly want to get a bit of white off it. I think I'll use the tea stain. So again, the same solution of the coffee. Spray it on. It does warp, so I'll just hold it down. And then you're just going to dry it. It does need quite a bit of time to dry, but you can dry it and then smear it around and just play around with it. So 
so that's dried now so it's dried with the yeah, some of the bobbles aren't quite dry so you can just smear them in but it's dried with that bobble effect so I think that's really cool so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to my sewing machine I'm going to take that out just in case I accidentally sew too far in and I'm just going to go around the edge and I'm going to go around twice all that I would say is go nice and slow especially when you're going over the part that's just the parchment paper because it's obviously very thin and if you're whizzing through on the sewing machine it's um, probably going to rip so I just go nice and slow I make sure I catch the edge of the tea bag all the way around and then that will just secure everything if you want to catch the layers of the embellishment as well just make sure you don't go into the pocket of the tea bag because that you know it'll stop you accessing the tea bag so again i'll pause the video because you don't want to see my um sewing machine or whizzing and making a racket so i'll come back to you once i've done this so this is the finished result so i've just stitched around it i did have a few little problems here and there I'm not sure why, um, I think the bobbin jammed a little bit. So, like I said, you've got a back pocket and then you've got the pocket of the actual tea bag. So you can pop your card in there. If I can get it in. There we go. <laughs> you just have to catch it at the right angle and it goes in fine. So that's that. So what I'm also going to do is add some um, a letter behind just to add a little bit more texture to the back so as you can see I've got some letters in these ones here so there's a letter on each of them and I'm just going to fold it up and distress it There we go, I'll just tuck that behind and just leave it hanging out the top just to add a lovely bit of texture. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and you find it useful. Oh, sorry for rocking the camera there. If you do try any of these, don't forget to tag me in your creations over on Instagram. I really enjoy um, seeing everything that you've made from my videos. And as always, um, links to everything that I've mentioned is in the description box down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.